Hi everyone. Still under the, the standard cash flow method. And today I'm going to examine the net terminal value. The net terminal value measures the increase in weight of an investor at the end of the project life. So the net terminal value is also an appraisal technique under the discounted cash flow method. So it measures the increase in weight of an investor at the end of the project life, which is directly opposite what the net present value method, net present value appraisal techniques. We can recall that the net present value measures the increase in weight of an investor now, today. But the net terminal value measures the increase in weight of an investor at the end of the project's life. So which is what which, is, which makes it what directly opposite net present value of appraisal techniques. So what is that the relationship that what now so that is under MPV, we tend to do what to bring the future to this to its present state. But under net terminal value, we are taking the present to the hand. We are taking the present, everything, you are taking this, you are taking the uh, cash flow for an investment, present cash flow what to every the cash flow to the hand of what to the hand of the project life. So what is that relationship that exists between net terminal value and net present value? The relationship that exists, exists between them is net terminal value is equal to NPV, open a bracket, 1 plus R, close the bracket, raised to power N. Now, this is the word, this is the compounding. You are going to do what under this, you are doing compounding. You are compounding under NTV, that is under net terminal value. Why under net present value? We are discounting. Okay, all right, so this is an illustration to express what what we're talking about under what the net terminal value. So we have the years, so year zero is your year of investment, you have the cash flow, which is what that is why the jacket is as an outflow. So the compound factor this is a compound factor, so that we use, which is one open bracket one plus h raised to power zero. That is the hand where h is what or is rate common cost of capital given to us. So by that we name this, let's name this A. So B, let's name this B. So C, this is C, this is C, which is equal to A times B. A times B will give us what C. So this value here multiplied by the uh, answer I'm going to have here, you are going to have your net terminal value. On and on like that. So at the end of the day, the net, as the name suggests, net terminal value, net. So it's the aggregation of what? Of the cash inflow minus what? So minus the initial heart lay. So from there, you are going to have your what? Your net terminal value. In a simple term, the net terminal value is directly opposite what? The net present value. So net present value tends to do what to bring the future to its present to the present. Why net terminal value take the present, take everything what uh, the cash flow that comes from the project, or to the hand was to know the value at the hand of the at the hand of the project's life. So on this note, I want to call it today on what on uh, net terminal value as an investment appraisal techniques. So in the next video we shall I shall be talking on the internal rate of return, which is another appraisal technique under the discounted cash flow method. Thank you and God bless.